Welcome. Today we are going to talk about a topic that has received a lot of media coverage, genetically modified organisms or GMOs. There are a lot of myths surrounding GMOs, for example that they are unhealthy for you or that GMOs can cause cancer. We're going to set the record straight about what GMOs actually are and how they act inside your body. GMO stands for Genetically Modified Organism. A GMO is an organism that has undergone either an addition or an alteration to its DNA. We know from basic biology that information is stored in DNA, which is transcribed to make RNA. Then the RNA gets translated into protein. So if you change the DNA of an organism, you will also change the RNA, and this may result in a change in the protein. Proteins are made up of smaller building blocks called amino acids. Amino acids get their name from having an amine functional group at one end and a carboxylic acid group on the other end. The amine and acid groups join together to form longer chains called polypeptides and eventually these polypeptides become big enough to be called proteins. When we change the DNA of an organism, it results in different building blocks or amino acids in the final protein. So does it matter if we make a change to the protein? How much do the specific building blocks really matter? To answer this question, let's see what happens to a protein once it reaches your digestive tract. Once inside your digestive tract, other proteins, called enzymes, break the bonds between the individual amino acids in proteins. This turns the large proteins back into amino acids. The amino acids are then absorbed through the gut wall into your bloodstream, where they are put to work as part of new proteins. Once the proteins are broken down into their individual amino acids, the body can't tell whether or not they came from a genetically modified food. So if the proteins are completely broken down anyway, does it matter what the amino acids were in the first place? Well, yes it does, sometimes. Although it's relatively rare given the number of food proteins out there, sometimes certain arrangements of amino acids can cause allergies because the spatial arrangement of the amino acids in a protein can bind to antibodies. This causes an immune response and can be very serious. This is why people can have allergies to foods like eggs or shellfish. But in foods that generally do not cause allergies, we have no evidence that the amino acid composition of the proteins is harmful. From the point of view of your digestive system, amino acids are amino acids, whether they come from a GMO or not. So the myth that genetically modified foods are worse for you than non-GMOs is just that, a myth.